Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to detect faces in Python using OpenCV. However, it is important to know something before continuing. Face detection is to only detect a face, while face recognition is to detect a face and to identify whose face you are detecting. This tutorial will show you how to do facial detection, but if you want to do facial recognition, then I'll leave a link to that video in the top right of the screen, as well as the description of this video. And before we start, please remember to like the video and subscribe. But yeah, let's get started. The first thing you'll need is of course Python which I'll assume you already have and then we need to make sure that we have the OpenCV library for Python and we can install this in our command prompt using the following command pip install OpenCV Python then we need to download one last thing which is a har cascade and har cascades in OpenCV are basically files with information that were trained to detect certain things so here on this website which I'll leave a link to in the description we need to download the frontal face har cascade the one right here make sure to remember the path that this har cascade will be downloaded in. You'll also need a text editor, which is where you'll be writing the code. So in my text editor, which is Visual Studio Code, I'll be creating a new file in here. I'll call it face detection. And to make it a Python file, we need to add .py at the end like so. Now we can start by importing the module. We do this by typing import cv2. Then we need to create a variable to store the path in which you downloaded the har cascade. So I'll call mine path and then paste this in here, which is the path to the har cascade that we downloaded earlier. After this, we need to create a variable that we'll use as a reference to our har cascade. So I'll call mine cascade and then we store cv2.cascade classifier and pass the path variable we just created. Then we need to create a video variable and say cv2.video capture and pass in zero if you want to capture your webcam. Then we need to actually capture our webcam footage and display everything on the screen continuously. And so we need a while true loop. In this loop, we need to create two variables because the function returns two values. And then we type video.read. This image variable will continuously store the current frame of the webcam. Then we we need to convert our image to a gray image and so we can do this by typing cv2.cvt color. We need to pass the image we want to convert and then as a second argument we need to specify the type of conversion for our image and in our case we want cv2.color bgr2 gray. Then we need to detect the faces in our current grayscale image and we can do this by creating a faces variable and in it we store cascade.detect multiscale. We then pass our grayscale image then for the second parameter it's a bit confusing to explain but I found this very helpful article that explains it very well and so if you want to know exactly what it does you can pause the video now but basically the higher you set this number the less false positives you'll get and the faster your program will run but you also don't want to set it too high so I found that 1.2 works quite well for me. Then this third parameter is also a small bit confusing but basically the higher you set it, the less false positives you'll get. But if you set it too high, your program will detect nothing. So I'd recommend playing around with the range of values 3 to 6, but for now I'll use 4. After this, the complicated parts are done, so now we can iterate through this faces variable using a for loop, and we can save x, y, width, and height in faces. We can then draw a rectangle around each face the program detects by typing cv2.rectangle, passing image, then the top left coordinate as a tuple, which is x, y, then the bottom right coordinate, which is our x plus width and our y plus height and then we need to specify the color of our rectangle as a tuple of three which is in bgr format so if we want to make it completely blue we need to make it 25500 and then in the last parameter we can pass two as an argument and this will be the thickness of our rectangle after this we can show the image by typing cv2.imshow and then passing the window name and then the image then we can type cv2.wait key and pass one which will act as a delay between images displayed on the screen when we now run our program then we can see that a blue rectangle gets drawn onto our face and it seems to be working fairly well when you want to stop the program you just need to kill the terminal in which you're running it so in my case i need to click this kill terminal button here in visual studio code if you found any problems such as your face not being detected or too many rectangles on your screen then try and tweak these two values here but other than that that was the end of this tutorial video if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment section or join my discord server using the link in the description please also remember to subscribe and like the video and i hope to see you in the next one.